Yes. Is this a recording? Hello guys, Bayana here. In this video I'm gonna show you guys. We have a, uh, you can see here, this is soft. We have leak on the ceiling, so I checked from the top. I didn't see anything, so I'm just gonna open this up, cut it and see what is in there. Not sure. At that time we hired a plumber to do this job. And I don't know what's happening there, but something is not right. Yep, I'm just gonna, we're gonna cover the floor, cover as much as we can stuff in here. Probably for now not gonna be a lot of dust because the thing is humid and stayed from there. Yeah, I'm not even gonna measure it, guys. I'm just gonna cut this part, you can see soft. I'm just gonna cut and see if we can find where the leak is. Just gonna run the knife, this thing is soft. I'm just gonna cut a hole somehow. Nothing to trace. I just want to see it. And you can see, like, not even dust is coming out. This thing is real soft. I would cut the right size that I need for now, just to find out where it is. It is wet in there. It's been leaking for. Sometimes look this dry old tape is already off look. Ooh. I'm gonna have to remove it all. I'm gonna have to move the pole and move this thing out even more. Cut this one here a bit more. I just look to see that I don't cut any pipe. The reason that I'm cutting here because I see this joint, I want to check this joint. Somewhere from there, because the isolation here is already dry, so I'm gonna have to ask my assistant to go upstairs and flush all the water. Okay, see you guys in a bit once we find out where it, this is come from. The water come from up and I can't even access it from here. Yes guys, like you can see the leak is just come from up there somewhere when the shower is on. Looks like the bathtub is okay, so I gonna have to go upstairs and deal with the pipes in there. Try to open up, find where it is and fix the problem. Yes guys, here we are on the shower. On the main floor, so I'm just gonna check to see if I can see any leak from this pipe in here. Try not to get wet in here, guys. Yeah, guys, what I'm doing here, I just try to eat the tissue paper to see if I can uh, get any moisture on this guy. And if we have a leak, the tissue would come uh, kind of wet on contact, feel dry, so I don't see any moisture on it. I mean, try this one. Oh, yeah, I have some moisture now. Yeah, I got a little bit moisture in there, like you guys can see. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try one more time. little bit but it's not uh, it is not the amount that uh, we had down there it's not really what we're looking for because we had a kind of big leak i'm just gonna remove this and reseal it but it's not really what we're looking for i'm gonna i'm gonna open this guys up might be from it sometimes it's hard to say one here, I'm just gonna cover the drain. I just don't want any screw to fall on it. On this one, we just can pop this guy out right there. See, there's a little gap in there. We remove it. We just need a small wrench. Let me get something. Yeah, I have a, um, a little wrench in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove this cover. Like, I just can use a Philippine screwdriver, but I'm just gonna go with the gun because uh, it's just a little bit faster. I'm 
and this is important not to lose any of the screws you guys can see this screw has a little bit of gasket in there rubber so I'm just gonna put the oh, so in there okay let's in this case we know it is coming from the shower because the leak is when the shower is on so I'm just gonna figure out what, what it is yeah I show you guys right there we can see that is water behind there here you see moist in there water in there now and if we look it's hard for you guys to see but uh, I can see from here I can see water back down the dryer uh, in this case I still gonna open the the faucet and let it run but uh, at this moment everything indicate that the the leak is come from up there either from the shower head or the pipe Maybe the connection for the pipe is like kind of loose, hard to say. And so I'm just gonna get everything out of here. I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna miss anything on this one. I'm gonna move back. I don't want to get it too wet. A little bit is okay, but oh yeah. If you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, sorry for the noise, but I show you guys where I'm gonna have my school dive. Look this. See the water dripping there? I'm gonna put some oh, light. Yeah, Look at that amount of water. Oh, oh. I forgot that I had the... Wow. <laughs> no, I'm more wet. Maybe I have to go to the truck and get another clothes or ask the homeowner to borrow his pants. <laughs> I just joking guys, it's all good. First thing first, I'm gonna remove this shower head and I'm gonna reseal it and then we check. And if we lock, it's just from uh, the shower head, that way uh, we don't have to do more damage. There we go, I know what I need, I'm just gonna go to the truck and pick up some Typhon tape and I'm gonna try to see I might use the leaked Typhon tape plus the Typhon that way double protect it yeah guys I'm just gonna dry this stuff good and dry everything good try to clean it as much as I can I'm just gonna apply some uh, Typhon tape on this guy this would help to, to seal it yeah, let me do a better job in here which way? This way? Let's hope that I'm right sometime I just make some mistake. Just make sure I have enough. Beside the Typhoon tape I'm gonna put this pipe compound. That way you just uh, make sure you have double rack. It's going pretty tight, guys. Now let's check to see how this thing feels. I need to turn on my light. See if we need to go another roundabout. Okay, guys. Uh, usually, I don't see any more leaking there. Uh, thing look mm, looks pretty good right now. Either way, I just I'm gonna clean up the silicone around here and I put this back and then I would go downstairs, clean up the mess in there and I'm gonna leave that open for a few days. Once I'm gonna put the fan, that way it can dry up, replace the isolation, check to see how far the drywall is mold, cut it all open and then once I'm sure this is 100% sealed and good, and then I just close it up and uh, finish the job. So for this one, it's just what it is. It was just a shower head that was not screwed on properly and was leaking. So it was not like uh, something too big. It can happen. Just I believe maybe because the position the shower head is, maybe the plumbing was to go 
real tight on it and didn't run a test on it but now looks to be good I love you guys so this is uh, the solution we didn't have to do any more damage cut anywhere else was just that cut downstairs either way we had to cut it because we need to even though we knew this was leaking here we still have to cut in there to remove the wet isolation the wet drywall and clean it up so we looking good in here I just gonna put this back the same way we have moved here like you guys can see silicone here look good was done all around left the bottom open that in case some water goes in it's just drip down to the bottom for now we're looking good in here i love you guys and uh if you guys want to see some more great video great content keep your eyes open uh, and we have a uh, great content coming up else if you guys interested uh, to have a video on something or have question comment just uh, let us know and we'll be right on top of it to answer for you guys i love you see you soon